Yes, I, I suppose you could say I, I more or less play the title character in Round the Horn, which is, uh, no, it's not a huge responsibility. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, team effort. Um, and it's, it's a joy to do, not a responsibility at all. I think I feel a little bit like the straight man, but uh, not in the, in the sense that it's a, it's a backwards and forwards joke and the straight man is always the butt of it. I think uh, Kenneth Hall was always slightly bemused by what was going on, but enjoyed immensely the talents of the people that surrounded him. Brit, did you I, my memories of Round the Horn are listening to it in the car, coming back from my grandmother's on a Sunday afternoon around about two o'clock. My father used to play it on the radio. That's, uh, that's my memories. I, I did go and see a previous production of Round the Horn at the Theatre Royal in 2004, which was the revisited one with Stephen Critchley. Never dreaming that one day I'd be on that stage doing the same role myself. So I did a fair amount of research, as much as you can do with any of these people who have certainly passed away quite a long time now. And certainly with the BBC, they didn't keep a lot of, uh, uh, of, of film archive, of which there is a great amount, or should have been a great amount, for Kenneth Horn because he did a lot of television work as well. Nothing remains, so the only research I've been able to do is much of what everybody's been able to do is what you find on the internet and YouTube from old radio shows. There is a very good biography, uh, which I looked at, uh, which was quite interesting because there were some connections with Kenneth Horne and Sussex that I didn't know about. He spent some time recuperating in Hove after he had his first heart attack, uh, stroke. Uh, and he, um, he also bought a house in Alciston, which is now Alfriston in West Sussex, where he lived till the end of his life. And, and I shaved my head, of course, <laughs> uh, like Kenneth Horne, because I normally have um, at least a little bit of hair on top. <laughs> Difficult one. Oh, well, it would have to be um, Douglas Smith. Oh, interesting. Why? <laughs> BBC announcer. My my father worked for Forces Broadcasting and was an announcer on the Forces Broadcasting service for a number of years. And I suppose, you know, I, I've always been attracted to that idea of, you know, being the sort of maitre d, the sort of bring people together, introduce people, that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I have to say, I was very. Um, when we first started doing this, I noticed that some of the audiences were actually uh, closing their eyes. Now, normally for an actor, when you see that happen to an audience, it's not a good sign. It, it normally means that they're not enjoying the performance particularly well. But what I didn't realise, of course, that these people were literally going back, remembering the day when they heard it on the radio and closing their eyes because they, it, it was taking them back to that, that time. Um, and a number of people who come up afterwards and said, I just closed my eyes and all of a sudden I was back there in the front room or wherever they listened to Round the Horn. So that was a surprising for me. I didn't, I didn't think of it like that, but of course, yes, that's what it was doing. It's one of the wonderful things you can do as an actor is to be able to make people, you make people laugh, you make people cry, you make people think, you make people, you know, this is one of the great you know, things about being an actor. And of course we have some brilliant writing that, that makes it all happen too, so it's nice to be one of those catalysts for that. A lot of people ask, why do you think it's so funny? And it, and it has to be down to the writing, it has to be down to the fact that they had two writers who were generally funny people, had a, had a feeling for humour in everything they did uh, and in their relationship, and that comes out in the writing. And they also had an extraordinarily talented bunch of people who were translating that writing into a, a, a very funny and a very warm and a very friendly show. It made people feel good.